school closures and the virtual learning and everything because, I mean, I'm not saying it, there should be a national do-over, but we can't just pretend that fifth graders who are now seventh graders, that that didn't happen, you know? And like, I feel like there should be, and not, not with a blame game. Look, it happened. People did it. It was criticized, the school closures, the virtual learning, et cetera. But here we are. Um, there needs to be yeah, like, a, I mean, like a bipartisan movement, you know? Quote, I have to say that I'm surprised that there hasn't been a national conversation about the damage done to kids because of these school closures. What do you mean, Jake Tapper? There hasn't been a national discussion because clowns like you, working in conjunction with the Democrat establishment, have refused to report accurately on the developmental and academic damage done to children thanks to Democrat policies. I mean, these people are total clowns. You have refused for two plus years straight to acknowledge any of the grievances coming from independent and Republican voters. You have refused to acknowledge any of the issues and now all of a sudden you're surprised why there's not a national discussion. Well, it's very simply because Democrats have been shutting down discussion on all of these issues that don't directly benefit them. And now all of a sudden that they're realizing they're in trouble, well, now they're acknowledging it because now it benefits them to admit that there might be a problem. But of course, it's too little too late. The voters have abandoned you. Even lifelong Democrat voters have had enough their voices are not being heard. Whether it's Hispanic voters who don't support illegal migration, Democrats continue to ignore them. They don't support socialism, Democrats continue to ignore them, so they're moving towards Republicans. Whether it's black voters who don't want their police departments defunded, they want to live in safe communities with economic opportunity, Democrats don't listen. Of course, this one's a little bit more tough, but slowly black voters are moving away from the Democrat Party. Whether it's suburban families, suburban moms, who are sick of failed public schools, who are sick of the woke indoctrination currently plaguing public schools and all the inappropriate content and inappropriate teachers, their concerns are not being met by the Democrats. They're being told that they're extremists or bigots for being concerned about their children. The list goes on and on. Of course, school closures, school choice is added to the list. Democrats refuse to acknowledge any of their concerns. And it's very simply going to be their undoing. The Democrat body politic has such an inflated ego, such an inflated head. They forgot that politics isn't about them. It's about the people. And the basic philosophy should always be asking the voters, what are your problems and how can I help? Not here's my far left Democrat mandate and obey or else. Fall in line or you're a bigot. The modern day Democrat strategy is collapsing and the Democrat party along with it. That's what I got for you guys though. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get back to work. Thanks for watching friends and I will see you on the next one.